Hey everyone! So today I'm going to be doing a review on the Bare Minerals Foundations. I've got the starter kit. Looks like that. And I love this set. It comes with four powders. Like that. One concealer. Just looks like that. And three brushes. But I also got their primer in with that. And okay, to start off with the powders, there's two that are actual foundation. There's fairly light and then there's light. Because we all know skin colour changes depending on the time of year. So it caters for when you've got lighter skin in the winter and then when you're slightly darker in summer. And they're just very fine powder. Put them upside down. See? Very fine powder. And the actual thing itself has a sort of grill, like a filter, so that no more than necessary will come out, so it won't come out unless you tap it, which I found quite useful. But then there's also Mineral Veil, which is out of the lot, it's the lightest of them. As you can see, it's a very... That's better. It's a very, very light powder. It's a sort of a highlighting one, or if you've got, say, really pale skin, you can mix in with the other foundations and it makes it lighter. Now, this one I never use because it's just completely the wrong colour. This one's called Warmth, and it's the all over face one for, say, if you have a tan or if you've got, say, a darker skin tone, seriously, it looks like chocolate powder. In the thing, chocolate powder. And I know they say you can mix it in with the others to make it darker, but I have a skin tone that matches the foundation exactly. So I never bother with this one. So this one's a bit redundant, really. And I've got powder everywhere. Do. The other thing with this one is when I put it on my face, it actually makes it look dirty, which isn't really a good look. So, yeah, that's kind of the joker. I wouldn't pay for that one normally. And then this one is the concealer. They called it Bisque. Oh, it's backwards. But this one's a really good concealer. It's a sort of darker beige-ish colour. When you look at it in the pot, you don't actually think it'll go on the same as your skin tone, but it does. It goes on really well. And now onto the brushes. They came with full flawless face brush. Just looks like that. All their brushes are kabuki brushes, I've come to the conclusion. Because if you look at the head, that's not a normal foundation brush. Actually, I've got a normal foundation brush. So, comparison. Normal one? The Kabuki one. So, there's definitely a difference. But this one has got really soft hair. It's got, in comparison to the other ones, it's got shorter head and it's slightly rounder. It's more of a domed top. And this one's just the sort of normal applying the foundation one. Then there's this one just says flawless face. But this one has taller head and it's still got the dome top but it's much more concentrated. If you compare them also, this one's a bigger brush and the heads themselves 
See that? That one's thicker than this one. This one's more for using with mineral veil. And it's more for sweeping, say, highlight colour. Or I used it before for using, say, loose powder. I've set my other foundation with that one. So, yeah, that's another one of the Kabuki brushes that came with it. Then there's the Max Coverage Concealer Brush. That one's got, as you can see, it's got stuff on it. But that one's just a nice flat. It's quite thin as well. You can see that. In comparison, bigger head, slightly narrower than the other one. And it's got a more sort of pointed tip. This one's a lot flatter. And that one works quite well as well. I use that one for under dark circles or blemishes, things like that. What you'd normally use a concealer for. And when I got my set, I also um, I wanted to try it first. So I got a sample, like it was sort of in a pot about this size, just a tiny one. But they gave me a mini kabuki brush with it. It's adorable. In comparison, see that's how big it is. So cute. But strangely enough, it doesn't do the job any worse it just takes a bit longer to do because if you see the size of the head definitely a bit smaller so yeah they definitely do cater quite well for you and we all know that mineral foundations are good for the skin because of well, I think I was told zinc oxide is helping improve my skin so that's that but they also gave they also came with this which is their foundation primer and it's basically just the same as any other foundation primer I suppose I actually got the box as well I'll show you that one just comes in a bottle like that and it's just a clear jelly much like any other foundation base but that's really nice so yeah overall I really rate their stuff and I really recommend it hope some of you found this useful and goodbye